gamma is the angle between the positive z-axis and the angle to the vector f. Alpha is the angle between the x-axis and the vector f. Beta would be the, the third of the direction cosines. If gamma is given as 30 degrees and alpha is 75, what is beta between the vector f and the positive y-axis? Remember that any time you're using these direction cosines, you have this wonderful identity. Cosine squared alpha plus cosine squared beta plus cosine squared gamma equals 1. In this case, gamma is 30, cosine squared of 30. Alpha is 75, cosine squared of 75. And what we're looking for is beta. So all we have to do is solve this for beta. Cosine squared beta equals 1 minus cosine squared 75 minus cosine squared 30. If you solve this, cosine of beta is the square root of that. So you can solve this to show that beta has to be equal to 64.672 degrees. In three significant digits, beta is 64.7 degrees. Now that's our answer. But you can always rem also remember that you can use this to find the components of f. f is going to be equal to its magnitude times cosine alpha in the x direction plus its magnitude times cosine beta in the j direction plus f times cosine gamma in k direction. So if you were asked for f in Cartesian form, that's how you would find it.